what's up babes welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is angel if you are new here and welcome back to another get ready with me so in today's get ready with me we're going to be focusing on this beautiful hair and this makeup so if you want to get glam together keep on watching before we jump into it i wanted to give a quick thanks to af sister wigs for sending me over this gorgeous ginger unit this is giving honey if you want to see how I style this wig and install it, then just keep on watching. I am so excited to jump into some fall makeup. Um, I did want to create like a whole entire look, but because I have this color hair, you guys know that um, I don't really like to do a whole lot um, as far as the hair and makeup because I know my face best and when I get a little bit too crazy, I start looking, you know, like another gender, okay? 
So, no funny shit. I'm just being real. Um, so, let's go ahead and jump into the makeup. So, jumping right into my eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use this Makeup Revolution palette. It is um, the Sophie X Extra Spice. I'm not trying to blind y'all. There are a lot of pretty um, fall shades that are going on in this palette. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use this. Oh, I really wanted to use my um, 350 palette, Morphe, but oh, we'll do glam next time. We'll do something simple. And plus, it's already later in the day, and I really need to go ahead and get out of this house. It's Saturday, honey. So the first shade I'm jumping into is this orange shade right here, which is called Running Late. I am just so shocked at how good this color looks on my skin, y'all. Normally, I would never try like full-blown color like this. I would need some highlights. I would need like an ombre, the grown-out roots, the dark roots, honey. I would need something, but I'm actually loving this wig, y'all. It is so beautiful. I haven't even finished my makeup, and I just know once I do my makeup, stop playing with me. If you watch the vlogs, honey, you know I was a little nervous. And if you don't watch my vlogs, what are you doing? Okay? So the next shade I'm going into is Sweet and Sour, which is in the same orange family. It's just a little bit darker. So the next shade I'm going into is this shade right here, which is called Chocolate Orange. So now I'm going to go ahead and dip into this shade, which is called Cheesecake. Girl, I'm already hungry and this eyeshadow palette is not making it any better. Okay, so that is exactly what I wanted on the eyes. And I'm blending this color in my crease and I'm also packing it all over um, the lids as well. So now I'm just taking this M167 brush from Morphe and I'm just going to place this into my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to go into this one right here, which was sweet and sour, just to kind of bring those orange undertones out underneath the eyes as well. So I'm taking these lashes right here. These are just from AliExpress. These are D108. Y'all, it has been such a long time since I've actually used mink lashes. I really have just been rocking silk lashes, but I want something a little bit shorter. I'm kind of going back to me, honey, because I am a mink lash kind of girl. And also, I don't really like super long lashes, but lately I have been wearing them kind of longer than usual. So, let's see if I can get back into my um, shorter mink lash. OMG, girl. Oh, how I miss my mink lashes. These are so pretty. I mean, I love both silk and mink lashes, y'all, but it's the way they curl for me, honey. Like, it's the curl, like, it's the... It's a side view for me, honey. Do y'all see that? Stop playing with me. So moving on to the face, I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer for my primer today. I need this makeup to last. I need to be looking good because I never know what the day may bring. Not on the mix, honey. Not on the mix. So for the face, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. And I am using the shade 356. Y'all, earlier this week when I was trying to film um, some of my favorite fall fragrances, I had on a white shirt. 
and you know what happened. While I was doing my makeup, all of my foundation literally got on my shirt. So um, for my concealer, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Hydrating Concealer. And this one's in the shade Tan New. So now I'm just going in with a lighter shade. Um, just because I really want my eyes to be nice and bright, I'm going in with a light sand. This is super light, girl. This is the brightness that I was looking for. So now I'm just going in with this Maybelline Fit Me setting powder. This is in medium deep and I'm going to set underneath the eyes. I don't think I'm going to set my forehead. I think I'm just going to set underneath the eyes. And I just like to get some of the powder. Tap it on the back of my hand. Look how much powder. This powder goes a long way. So now I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face and I'm using my Black Radiant Soft Focus Powder and I'm going to use the shade Milk Chocolate just to kind of warm things up a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer. I am using the Makeup Revolution um, bronzer in the shade Medium. Girl, I better hurry up because it sounds like daddy pulling up. for my blush the lid just broke off of it but I'm going in with this shade right here I'm only using just a little bit like literally just a little bit sis Oh, I cannot forget to snatch my nose. Of course, I'm just using my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. Oh yeah, I said a little bit of highlighter, so let me use this this is just the wet n wild mega glow loose highlighter and i'm going in with just a little bit Because y'all know during the winter time your skin get a little dry sis so you need a little extra glow okay. So for my bottom mascara I'm just taking this Maybelline Big Shot mascara and putting it on my bottom lashes. And then I be forgetting to fill in my mold y'all so there it is there she go. So I have two different lip options right here y'all I don't know if I want to use this shade it's like a it's a really cute color. 
that's cute or if i want to go nude mm, let's do both so of course i'm just using my favorite eyeliner but y'all know i use it as a lip liner and i'm going to line my lips So yeah, let's go in with this Maybelline color. This is Chocolate Lust. It's a beautiful, beautiful fall shade. It also has like some gloss to it. Oh, that's cute, girl. I don't even think I need the other one. Wow. And I love how this is already glossy. That's cute, but y'all know we love even more gloss. So I think I am going to add just a little bit of this one. This is Maybelline, not Maybelline, ColourPop Quickie. Mm. And I'm going to add it right in the middle of my palette. And then I'm just going to top it off with some of the Essence um, Shine Shine Gloss. You guys know, this is one of my favorites. Girl, it's the hair, it's the lashes. It's the whole makeup for me, honey. Stop playing with me. So hair and makeup is officially done. Y'all, I have nothing but good things to say about this unit. It is super gorgeous. This is a 13 by four um, T-part wig. So there's only lace in this area and also around the perimeter. I did go ahead and plug the unit as I normally do. And I also did go ahead and actually um, dyed this wig again. I actually watercolored it again because if you guys watch my vlog and my snap, you guys know that this was like a orange, like like a pencil orange like it was an orange wig girl and I just was not feeling it I wanted some color I wanted the ginger look but I did want it to be toned down a lot so I did add three um adore colors to it um I think it was copper brown Cajun spice and uh, there was one more I'll leave them somewhere up in here um, on the screen so you guys will know exactly um I'm sorry y'all I'm rushing exactly which colors that I use to actually achieve this color um, this is so beautiful like I couldn't have imagined it to turn out any better than what it did the lace is nice like I said um, I did pluck the perimeter although you really can't see um, the perimeter I did go ahead and add some baby hairs to this unit the hair is super soft super bouncy I love the curl pattern I only added um, the crimping iron to like the front part like the top of the hair I left the bottom pretty much in its natural state so this is the ways that you'll get after you wash the unit girl AF sister wig this is bomb this is bomb girl this is so beautiful um, and I love that it just looks really good on my skin tone I did have to kind of tweak it a little bit like I said I did color it myself but other than that this is a really really nice unit as always, I'll link everything down in my description bar below so you guys can check this unit out. Perfect for fall. I love the color on it. Like, I am just so satisfied. Like, I... This couldn't have turned out any better, y'all. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get glam, do my hair, do my makeup. And thumbs up this video if you like this kind of videos. Like I said, everything will be linked down in my description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!